Today we have a special guest on our passion talk. Her name is Miss Sonia Meena. She's additional managing director of Madhya Pradesh Tourism and deputy secretary Department of Tourism. An enthusiastic IAS officer, an avid traveler and bird watcher and sees great potential in reopening wildlife, heritage, pilgrimage, leisure and adventure tourism destinations in MP. MP is one of the first states to spear this back to normal wave by reopening its tourist destinations this month with emphasis largely on domestic tourism ma'am we welcome you to yet another heart to heart session of passion talk thank you sukriti i am delighted to be on the passion talk with you today ma'am first of all i want to tell you you look lovely you look so beautiful thank you Ma'am you come from a diverse background and you belong to Rajasthan you've lived in Kerala please tell us all about your journey and finally all about your experiences in the heart of India so as rightly said by you i come from Rajasthan and Kerala both of which are uh, very popular tourist destinations in the country Rajasthan is known for its colorful culture and warm hospitality and Kerala is known for its gorgeous natural beauty so in that background madhya pradesh was a real discovery for me and right from the first district that i was posted in uh, which was uh, called dindori which is about 3 hours from jabalpur um to my second posting which was in khajuraho for about one and a half years and i was able to explore that whole belt uh, in panna national park which was just about an hour away and orcha which is a lovely little uh, town which is uh, dotted with monuments uh, thereafter uh, i had the opportunity to see all the monuments and the tourist attractions in uh, morena which is about an hour from gwalior and which uh, is home to the national chambal sanctuary and also has uh, the metavali temple which is a 9th century building and is considered the uh, the inspiration for the design of uh, the indian parliament so uh, i have found madhya pradesh to be a real treasure trove of uh, various tourist uh, offerings and it is indeed the heart of incredible india that uh, uh, it has all the tourism offerings that indian tourism stands for the added attraction beauty of madhya pradesh is that it is a very less uh, crowded and commercialized uh, destination and uh, it is an offbeat destination which uh, a lot of people these days are looking for ma'am uh, is it uh, right to put it this way that your heart was completely smitten by the heart of india or in the heart of india i think that will not be very far from the truth <laughs> Ma'am, you're also an avid bird watcher. Okay, so please share some experiences for all the bird lovers out there who will be watching this video. What all are the bird offerings from our state, and you know your experiences? Some of my favorite destinations for bird watching are the Panna National Park and the uh, National Chambal Sanctuary. The state bird of Madhya Pradesh is the Indian Paradise Flycatcher, and I spotted uh, this bird for the first time. besides the water body in the buffer zone of the panna national park in addition to this the chambal river is a protected uh, uh, site it's a protected water body and during the winter months there are a lot of migratory birds uh, who come to chambal river so uh, there's a beautiful site of uh, birds like uh, the flamingos sarus cranes the indian skimmer which is an endangered species um and bar headed geese rooty shell ducks poachers you name it so madhya pradesh is a state which is uh, covered by forest up to 32% of its land area so there is an opportunity to spot a lot of birds pretty much in every part of the state ma'am a very difficult question i'm going to ask you right now okay very very difficult and it is which is your favorite bird after seeing so many and naming so many my favorite bird is actually a very ordinary bird that you can spot in cities also called the oriental magpie robin but it is a little bird which is very feisty and has a very melodious voice so the oriental magpie robin is my favorite bird. 
how cute ma'am it sounds really adorable so we've spoken about bird watching we've spoken about you know your experiences in the heart of india ma'am how was your experience of eating in the heart of india you know when i ask you what is that one thing you absolutely loved eating in this part of the country madhya pradesh is very rich in uh, local cuisine and street food my favorite uh, places to eat out have been gwalior and uh, of course indore in gwalior my um, favorites are uh, the kachori from ss kachori wala and bahadura ke laddu and i also enjoy having their staple which is called bedai in indore of course uh, it's the food hub of the state so right from poha jalebi to your mava bati butte ki khees garadu uh the sarafa bazaar is a must visit for anybody who's a big fan of uh, street food in bhopal we have uh, the mito hall restaurant the rooftop restaurant which is uh, a property of the madhya pradesh tourism corporation and it offers you uh, a taste of all the flavors of madhya pradesh it is uh, the finest restaurant in bhopal and the food home delivery service that we have started in bhopal uh is also being produced in the mito hall kitchen uh itself so for those who are health conscious we have uh, a section which is uh, nutritious and healthy food uh for those who want to try something that is authentic madhya pradesh dishes uh so we have the gopali mur khusala we have uh, nimona ki sabzi we have mava bati we have all these different dishes which are available in our menu in addition to oriental italian and indian cuisine ma'am listening to you i swear to god i promised you i'm already missing uh, ss kachori wala ka kachori i'm missing bhadura ke boondi ke laddu because i have tasted both and trust me they are just amazing they are simply outstanding and i do know that if you eat one uh, bhadura ka laddu you can never be satisfied by eating one you at least eat minimum like two or three because they're so yum that's true ma'am I want to ask you so um, please tell us more about this bold decision I would call it bold to you know reopen with the new normal how well we at Madhya Pradesh tourism are prepared for the new normal in tourism so covid 19 has been an unheard term for us uh, till about a few short months ago now it is dominating everything and it has altered the needs tastes and habits of people around us um it also has globally affected the travel and tourism industry brutally however uh, this is not the time for us to stop or cease activity because um uh, the livelihood of several communities depend on this uh, sector so in order to reopen the uh, hospitality sector and in, in order to reopen our tourist destinations we have planned a few things the topmost priority is for uh, uh, ensuring safety and hygiene for our travelers for them to have that trust and confidence in order to be able to visit any destination uh, in order to travel by the taxis and vehicles that they travel in in order to stay in different accommodation units for a longer period of time for so capacity building exercise on our part for various stakeholders and service providers like the street vendors souvenir shop owners tourist and forest guides uh, tourist taxi operators and the like is in the process madhya pradesh tourism has also launched the uh, intezar aapka reopening campaign which is available and which you can all see on our social media handles in in our consultation with various stakeholders it has also come across and in a travel preferences survey that mp tourism has undertaken what has come across is that people would be preferring road trips in their personal vehicles and short uh, weekend getaways right now as opposed to um, a longer haul um, vacation uh, with too many people so in that direction we have identified a few itineraries we have prepared some all inclusive attractive packages um from the tourism corporation and we are offering these to our customers uh, currently we have also entered the segment of uh, food home delivery and the tourism corporation of madhya pradesh has started its food home delivery service called fusion 
This has also seen an enthusiastic response in Bhopal. And on the 21st of this month, we have launched it in Gwalior and Jabalpur also. So these are some of the new initiatives which we have uh, taken even during this uh, difficult time. And uh, we have tried our best to align the, um, the expectations of our customers and the needs of our business. Ma'am, I must say hats off to the department and we are really looking forward to kickstart travel because Travel is the buzzword and everyone, like if I especially talk about the youth, I know everyone wants to travel, click pictures, post it on Instagram and something that is also my budget travel. Ma'am, I know a lot of um, initiatives were taken by MP Tourism Department for the young travelers like camping sites, like developing camping sites. If you could please tell a bit more about that. Madhya Pradesh has emerged as a soft adventure destination. Um, Madhya Pradesh has been for a long time famous for its wildlife offerings. We have uh, 11 national parks in the state, 24 wildlife sanctuaries, and we, are, we have been crowned as the Tiger State again last year. But uh, since we are blessed with so much forest area and so many big water bodies like the Indira Sagar Dam, the Gandhi Sagar Dam, uh, there's a lot of potential for ecotourism. There's a lot of potential for adventure tourism, also for rural and tribal tourism. There are several trails and treks in the state which have been famous for a very long time, which have been very popular with uh, young people, even for inbound tourists for a very long time. Some of those I would like to uh, mention. Uh, for example, the Forsyth Trail, which is in the buffer zone of the Satpura Tiger Reserve, and which can be reached uh, from Nagpur in about three hours and from Bhopal in about six hours. It's a very popular trail. Uh, it's a, it's um, for a distance of 23 kilometers. The Kalakun Trail uh, is also a popular uh, camping site and a forest trail about 50 kilometers away from Indore. And the attraction of this trail is that it ends at the Patalpani waterfalls. In addition to this, uh, there are several trails which are offered by various uh, tour operators in and around the Panna National Park also. So uh, definitely Madhya Pradesh uh, has come up as a soft adventure tourism destination. And uh, we have a lot of young people who are uh, opting for uh, this particular activity as well. Ma'am, like they say, no, Madhya Pradesh mein bohat kuch hai khas. Like I remember all the advertisements of MP Tourism. They are those tourism adverts that, you know, they will stand out. They will grab eyeballs and you would want to know more the moment you see the advertisement you know flashing on your youtube or your tv channel and then you're like oh my god this place is such a surprise package and that's what i feel about madhya pradesh there's so much in this one state alone i want to ask you ma'am how well these super creative advertisements have converted into like tourist numbers whether we talk domestic or international because our advertisements are the best hands down Madhya Pradesh ranks uh, at the eighth position as far as domestic tourist arrivals are concerned. The figure stands uh, at 8.9 crores according to last year's data. About three to four lakhs foreign tourists also come to the state uh, every year. And uh, the number of tourist arrivals have quadrupled over the last seven years. And uh, the promotion and publicity efforts of uh, the tourism department which have also won several international awards and a lot of critical acclaim, have been instrumental in being able to increase this tourist footfall. This uh, has the uh, contribution to the local economy, to the uh, prosperity of the local communities who um, live in those uh, destinations. We have also seen an increase in the facilities and the services that are offered on the ground to the tourists, which has led uh, to a word of mouth publicity, which has led to uh, a good perception and impression about the state. And to this effect, the training of our service providers, again, is something that has been actively focused on because the experience that the tourist carries with him or her uh, the word of mouth publicity that this gets us at the cutting edge level is what uh, makes the difference at the end of the day. These are the memories that um, tourists carry with them. And we are really trying that uh, 
the new the tourists who come to madhya pradesh carry with them memories and experiences which uh, they, because of which they will come back again they will tell others about the state as well and uh, that is a very important uh, component for us to understand if we want to promote tourism definitely ma'am ma'am i want to ask you a question what do you feel do you feel does traveling make person better does travel make a better person you know what do you have to say about that i think traveling is a human instinct people have been traveling since centuries we have heard of famous writers and travelers who have crossed continents and written about new places they have written books they have written stories they have told people in their own countries about the culture about the traditions that they experienced in these other continents and countries so traveling is a basic human instinct and this is the cultural exchange that uh, happens as a result the better understanding of the cultures and ways of life of other people that happens uh, as a process of that i think it is a learning um, and an enriching experience I totally agree to that, ma'am. I just want to dig in a little more and ask you this question: Are you a person who likes to plan out a trip, or you just leave everything open-ended? I think I'm a traveler who likes to plan her trip to the last detail. But I've had a few experiences where the plans have changed a little, and we have gone off-roading. for example i once uh, trekked along the betwa river and swam in the betwa river along with my siblings on a trip to orcha so definitely uh, doing a bit of off roading is uh, something that everybody enjoys but uh, i like to plan my trips i like things to be certain and uh, as per schedule wow now that tells a bit more about you i can promise you that you seem or you come across as somebody who's a perfectionist that much i have understood for sure ma'am and that's what we love about you ma'am i also want to ask you what what is your traveling style are you a road trip person you're a budget travel person you're an adventure person what is that kind of travel that you love the most it depends on the company that you have if i'm traveling with my friends and siblings i wouldn't mind a road trip or an adventure trip if i'm traveling with my family i would want a leisure and laid back trip it depends on the company really but uh, i like my road trips and i like my off roading as well ma'am i'm going to ask you a very difficult question once again and the difficult question is you got to pick a few okay i'll give you a few uh favorite destinations of yours from our state madhya pradesh my favorite destinations are the orcha khajuraho and panna national park circuit it's the perfect mix of heritage and wildlife and ocha is uh, my favorite uh, heritage destination because it's a small town you can do the whole town uh, by foot or on the cycle and not only are there a lot of monuments uh, which date back to the 15th century that are there and there's a lot of history but there are also several experiential activities that you can indulge in right from rafting on the betwa river to nature trails and cycling tours there's even a camping site which is uh, present in orcha and uh, that experience is also something that local hoteliers and tour operators provide you ma'am the buzzword of travel industry is experiential tourism and madhya pradesh has so much to offer you name it and we have it please tell us all about the main tourist offerings of our state today's tourist is not the classic uh, tourist who uh, used to come to a destination stay at the hotel do local sightseeing click pictures and go back uh, happy today we have uh, travelers people who want to experience the um, culture of uh, the place that they are going to they want to learn something new the language the cuisine they want to escape and to um, take a break from their regular lives from their daily lives so the trend the buzzword in the travel industry is about experiential tourism and uh, madhya pradesh uh, having a very rich rural and tribal heritage there are several such activities and several such exposure visits that uh, are available in different parts of the state for example in pinch 
in Orcha, in villages around Khajuraho. The department is also in the process of developing homestays at a larger level so that uh, people who have lived in urban areas who want to take a break and who want to experience real India can come and stay in these places, come and live with the local people. And this was also ensure uh, greater prosperity for the local communities. In addition to uh, rural tourism experiences, uh, as I said earlier, we are also a very good destination for soft adventure. There are several activities, whether it is uh, in water sports, whether it's through treks and trails that are available and that have been developed over the last few years that people can enjoy and uh, disconnect and relax. Definitely, ma'am. Ma'am, I think uh, we've spoken about the destinations, we've spoken about all that uh, the tourism department has to offer. Ma'am, all the young travelers who would be watching this video and who are passionate about traveling, what is that one message you would like to give to them straight from your heart? I would like to say to young travelers would be to really take pride in the rich culture and heritage of the state of their country and also to appreciate and respect the culture of the local communities that they are interacting with and to preserve the environment in which they are able to enjoy themselves and to uh, unwind themselves. Ma'am, everyone's um, looking inward. Everyone knows that they want to travel. And like you said so rightly that, you know, the focus is more on road trips, that you just take your car and just drive maybe somewhere close. But kahi na kahi somewhere people might be a little scared because of the, you know, virus, the pandemic, that is it safe for them to travel? That wherever they're going to be going, wherever they're going to be staying, all the measures, the safety measures and precautions would be taken. If you could just tell our viewers a bit more about it. Safety is uh, definitely the biggest concern for any traveler who's going to set out for a trip. And it is also our highest priority. That is the kind of trust and confidence that we have to cultivate in our travelers for them to be able to move out of their houses and start exploring again and start traveling again. So as far as the Madhya Pradesh Tourism Corporation hotels are concerned, the SOPs which have been issued by the government of India in this regard have been widely circulated, have been uh, implemented through rigorous trainings among our staff. And as I said earlier, we are also in the process of training and sensitizing various other service providers that the tourists come into contact with when they visit a particular destination. And not only the tourism corporation, but all the private hoteliers and other stakeholders are very much conscious of this fact that unless they are able to assure the traveler that uh, uh, we are safe, we are following all the guidelines and SOPs, uh, it will be an uphill task for us to be able to attract tourists, to be able to uh, reassure them that uh, it's safe for them to travel and they should start exploring uh, the destinations again. Ma'am, as a young IES officer posted in the Department of Tourism, I'm sure you have come here with a lot of dreams, you know, Every person who comes to a department, they change it. They want to bring something of their own into it. What is that one dream? Or I should say, what is that one passion you have while you are in this department of Madhya Pradesh tourism? My dream or my vision for uh, tourism in uh, Madhya Pradesh is that for Madhya Pradesh to be really recognized for all the potential and all the amazing and lesser known tourist offerings that it has. It is a, a very rich state, whether it is in terms of heritage, whether it is in terms of wildlife, in terms of pilgrimage. We are home to some of the biggest pilgrimage centers in the country, from Ujjain, Omkareshwar, Amarkantak to Chitrakoot. And by virtue of uh, having um, so much forest area. We are also ideally placed for leisure vacations, for recreational activities like tourism in rural areas, uh, adventure tourism. And uh, it, is, uh, it is my hope and it is my vision that 
with the better services that we are uh, offering to our customers and the policies of the government towards inviting greater private participation. We will be able to have better facilities, uh, also in terms of infrastructure development, for tourists to uh, visit the state again and also recommend the state to their family and friends. Uh, because uh, Madhya Pradesh is a beautiful state and is very rich in all tourist uh, offerings. Over the past several years, it has been the effort of uh, the tourism department to attract and invite private investment into the state. And private investment to the tune of 1,300 crores has come into the state in the form of various hotels whether they are star hotels or budget hotels, various resorts, and roadway projects, bayside amenities, and the like. In addition to this, the uh, budget that is uh, available to us from the government of India, and even through the state government, has been utilized extensively in order to create infrastructure facilities for the tourists, so that they have a complete experience and they have a comfortable experience. I would love to ask you, which is your favorite MP tourism property to stay at? I'm going to give you like top three. I'm going to ask you top three options. That is a slightly difficult question uh, because the tourism corporation has 68 hotels and uh, all of them cater to various segments and have their own uh, specialities. But if I were to rate my top three, I think it would be the Rockin Manor in Pachmadi. Uh, the Selani Island Resort, which is close to Omkareshwar, and the Sarahi Jungle Resort in uh, uh, the Kanha National Park, which is again a new property. I think I will add one more and say Sheesh Mahal in Orchard, so, which has been recently renovated and is a, is a heritage property. Ma'am, for everyone who's watching this video, I want to tell them that if they ever travel to Orcha, they must stay at Sheesh Mahal because that's when you feel you're really staying in a, in a fort. You know, it's, it's a beautiful heritage property. The light and sound show happens right there. And I think it's fabulous. And for Rocket Manor, I want to tell all the Shah Rukh Khan fans that at the time when Ashoka movie was shot in Pachmari, Shah Rukh Khan and Kareena Kapoor stayed at the Rocket Manor. And Shah Rukh Khan actually took the best room in that hotel and that is room number three. So if anybody is going to Rocket Manor after listening to ma'am and our conversation, I think they should always or rather request if they can get room number three there. Ma'am, thank you so much for this amazing conversation heart to heart you had with me on Time's Passion Talk. It really means a lot. I know you're very busy. You took out time from your valuable time. And you know, you really, really had a heart to heart with us. We wish you all the very best and thank you so, so much. Thank you, Sukriti. I had a great time talking to you and I would like to thank the Times uh, Passion Talk team and the Times of India group uh, for inviting me for this talk.